Welcome to Highley Park Golf Club in Cheshire and we're here for a couple of days coaching with some players. And I wanted to share uh, what has become one of my favourite winter games, winter driving range games. This is something that you can practice and add a little bit of variety, a little bit of random into your practice. Prevents you getting bored, just hitting golf balls all the time. But most importantly, it allows you to work at a part of your game which is um, overlooked perhaps more than any other by club golfers and that is the skill elements of your golf game. So golf is a game where technique's important but also skill is important and there's a whole myriad of things that you could include under either of those categories. So uh, your takeaway would be a technique, uh, the ability to hit a lower ball flight would be a skill for instance. This game, this really works you into a practice session where you're a little bit away from the technique and more in the skill column. Uh, and I've got flight scope to help me, but obviously you don't need this necessarily to, uh, to use this, although if you have access to one through a, a personal coach or your golf club offers, uh, indoor studios, whatever, using this kind of technology, it's great to take advantage of it. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit a stock pitching wedge. So I'm gonna hit a couple of balls here, potentially, when you're on the range, you're gonna do the same. Give yourself an opportunity to hit what you feel is the a most solid pitching wedge for your particular skill level. And what's important here is that you pay attention when you're on your own to where the ball is actually pitched on the range. So you can use range markers as a reference point. And we're just gonna hit a solid shot. Not too bad. One's been hyper picky, maybe a touch thin. See what flight scopes tells you. Yeah, just a touch. That's going 113 yards through the air. So that's not necessarily absolutely flat out perfect. I'm going to hit one more just to see if I can do a little bit better than that. That was a little bit more solid. So I'm pretty happy with that as a golf shot. Paid attention to where it's bounced. Flight scope's going to tell us, yeah, there was, so that's a little bit better. 118 yards, exactly. So, 118 yards. That now becomes my goal. That's pitched a couple of yards short of a yardage marker out on the range there. So, now changed club. I've now got an eight iron. The goal of this shot now is to hit it the same distance as the pitching wedge. So, I'm now going to have to adapt my golf swing. Obviously, I can't hit a full shot because it's going to go too far. I'm going to have to adapt my golf swing, my setup potentially, my swing speed, my swing size, to try and carry the ball the same distance, try and pitch it in the same spot down the range. Now, this is a game that I use a lot with players in the winter, just to mix things up a little bit. Something that I personally used to do a lot of, haven't done for a while, so this could be interesting. So we've got eight iron, and we're going to try and get a little sense of feel of how we can create 118 yard shot, so that wasn't a great strike. That's gonna come up a little short. So not a great start. Yeah, just 99.9. So a little bit skinny. I've gotta come up with a better strike than that. I'm gonna be focused on slightly shorter backswing, good address position, slightly shorter backswing. I'm trying to swing my arms through a little slower than normal. That's a better strike. That might not be far away there. Okay. That comes out at 119.5, so pretty good. Okay. So, second ball, that took me two attempts. Skill levels in golf, crucially important. Now, what is that going to do for me out on the golf course? Well, the big difference there is I've hit the ball at a different trajectory. So, when I look into the height I'm hitting the ball for my stock 118 yard pitching wedge hit the ball 89.9 feet in the air so normal trajectory pretty high 90 feet so a pretty good peak height there but if it's very windy and I want to bring the ball flight down and still hit the ball the same yardage the eight iron's gone 67 feet so just under 30% lower, 25% lower ball flight, simply by changing the loft on the club. So if I'm out on the golf course and I'm looking to hit a low shot in the wind, rather than taking a pitching wedge and 
back in the stance and trying to de-loft it. If you practice this way, you're going to learn new skills which you can take out into the golf course which can directly affect your scoring. So try this drill on, on uh, the range. You can use yardage markers to give you some sense of feedback. I'd be really interested to hear how you're getting on. You can contact us through Facebook, HD Golf Academy or Twitter, the same at HD Golf Academy. Leave us some comments, let us know what you think of the videos and in particular how you get on with this drill. Thanks for watching the How Did I Do Golf Academy. If you enjoy our videos, please share them amongst your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, that way you'll get to see all our latest footage first. And for questions and comments, join our Facebook page or follow us on Twitter, HDidGolf Academy. We look forward to seeing you next time.